guys, so today I am doing a tutorial on this look for you. This is a nice brick red smoky eye. It is the epitome of fall to me. I have some bright oranges in the crease and a brick red on the lid. I seriously don't think you can get any more fall than this. It is just the beginning of September and I could not wait to get started on fall looks. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. I'm starting with Max Painterly Paint Pot and I am priming the lids with that using a Real Techniques brush. Next I am using Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie, which is a beautiful transition shade. It's super similar to my skin tone as you can see. And I am just getting that everywhere, from inner corner to outer corner, and basically from the lid to the brow bone. I am not being light-handed, and I am not being precise in the slightest. Next is Makeup Geek Chickadee, which is basically peach smoothie on crack. I'm using the same brush as I did peach smoothie, and I am taking my time, and I'm being a little bit more precise and lower in the crease than I was with Peach Smoothie. I'm making sure that I have a really even pigment from inner corner to outer corner and a smooth blend into Peach Smoothie and I'm really taking my time with this. It doesn't really look like it but this is slower than I usually am because I want it to be nice and smooth. Next, I'm using NARS Persia eyeshadow, which is gorgeous. As you can see, it is a red-orange, and I'm being even more precise with this. I'm using a smaller brush, which is a Sigma E25, and I am, when I said I was taking my time before, I am really taking my time now and making sure that the pigment is exactly where I want it to be and nowhere else. I'm taking it right into the outer corner and lower into the crease and you can see I am just going back and forth and back and forth and round in circles and back and forth. And then I'm going to take the E40 again from Sigma and just go ahead and blend it out even further making sure that everything is smooth. So obviously I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye but I really wanted to show you guys how much time I spent blending this eyeshadow. I really took my time with it and even this is cut down quite a bit but I didn't want to sugarcoat anything and just show you if you take your time it will be beautiful. Just blend your little heart away. And going in with the E40 again just to make sure all the edges are smooth makes all the difference in the world. Next I am taking MAC Brown Script and I am putting this on the lid and again taking my time to make sure that it is as pigmented as possible and I am dipping my brush back in put patting it on the lid. Trying not to swipe too much so I can really pack that color on but I put my brush back in the eyeshadow a good amount of times and I am putting it all the way up into the crease. I am not afraid to get this in the crease because I will blend it out a little bit later. So brown script is a little bit darker than what it looks on camera. The lighting is washing it out just a bit. So here I'm taking the Sigma E25 and going back in the crease to blend out that lid shade. I did pick up a little bit more brown script just to get it in the crease a little bit. This is Max Embark. I have it in a limited edition palette, but it is a permanent color. You can always get it. It's a warm brown, but it does have a little bit of purple into it, so I used it just to kind of darken up the outer V a little bit and break up the look a little bit, just so it's not straight, hot, oranges, and reds. I'm really just focusing this on the outer corner and not taking it much farther than that. I just want a little bit of depth. And then obviously, going in with the E40 and blending it out as always, that will make everything perfect always it's a fantastic brush. Then of course just doing the same thing to the other side taking my sweet time as always and pretty much putting this shadow in a perfect V shape and obviously blending it out again. 
So next I'm using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I had such a hard time filming this. I was so far away from my mirror I could not see what I was doing. So you can see what it looks like there and that's the end of it. And I am quickly just coating my lashes with some Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara before I go in with falsies which are the Coco Lashes in Ariel. So to start my face, I am using the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer, which is just nice and lightweight and gives me a little extra boost of hydration before I put on my foundation, but it's super lightweight at the same time. I'm using the Dior Nude Air Foundation with my Beauty Blender, which was just a little bit dry, so I'm spraying it with the charged water. But I love this foundation. It's super lightweight and especially putting it on with the Beauty Blender, it shears it out just a bit, which I prefer a little bit of a sheer foundation. But I swear to you, this foundation looks just like skin, but perfect, which is what I have everybody wants, right? Everyone wants to just look like they have naturally perfect skin. So that's why I love this foundation so much. And I always take whatever excess foundation I have and just run it down my neck a little bit just so everything's blended. For under the eyes, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I love this concealer because it's very full coverage, but it's pretty lightweight. I'm putting a hefty amount on because I'm going to go with my Beauty Blender. And I do feel like it shears it out a little bit, so I always like to put a little extra on when I'm using my Beauty Blender, which again... I prefer to use my Beauty Blender because I just feel like it adds a little bit of hydration and like I said before, I'm super dry, especially under my eyes. Concealer can look so cakey so easily, so using these two together is really like a match made in heaven. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Light Reflecting Translucent Powder. This is the loose one. It's super, super finely milled and it's probably the only powder I've ever used that doesn't make me look super dry and cakey underneath my eyes and literally my concealer does not crease at all. It's amazing. So I'm finishing off the eyes by going in with MAC and Bark and just running it along my lash line pretty tightly and I'm not worrying about it being too perfect because I'm going to blend it out in just a second. I'm taking MAC Brown Script with a pencil brush and just working on starting to blend out that Embark. Being a little sloppy and making sure I connect it around my eye to the top lid so it kind of looks like one eye look. You know it's not going to be separated at all from the top lid to the bottom. So I'm going in with Chickadee and this brush is kind of like a pencil brush, just a little bit fatter and I'm putting Chickadee even lower than I did the brown script so it kind of transitions from the dark brown to the orange just like it does on the top part of the eye. So the look comes full circle. I'm using MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara which is a mouthful but I love this mascara for the lower lashes because it has a super tiny brush and you can get right to the base of the lashes without getting mascara everywhere which I am I usually have a problem with but not with this mascara I don't. I'm taking MAC Nylon Eyeshadow which is a super bright eyeshadow and putting it quite heavily in the corner because I wanted a really bright inner corner. Next, I am taking Bobbi Brown's bronzer in Golden Light and putting it on quite a fluffy blush brush. I am not contouring with this by any means. I am bronzing and warming up my skin, so I am being a little bit more sloppy with it and putting it all over the cheeks, all over my forehead, and then you will see me in a minute bring it down onto my neck just a little bit. So it looks like I have a tan. This is MAC Sculpting Powder, and the color is called Sculpt as well. This is a little bit more cooler tone, and I'm using it on a little bit of a smaller brush and being a lot more precise with this, not blending it out too much to actually contour and create shadow. So I really only put it under my cheekbones, and then I'll take just a little bit and put it on the sides of my nose just to add a touch of dimension. Using MAC Warm Soul Blush, which is my favorite blush ever. I use it with everything ever. It goes with every single look. It is just gorgeous. You can't go wrong with it. Becca's Moonstone Highlighter. I almost said Opal, but it's Moonstone. It's a little bit more subtle than Opal, a little bit lighter than Opal, which I thought looked good with this. I didn't want anything too crazy, which is unusual. 
but I'm still putting it all over my face regardless. So for the lips, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick, which is just a gorgeous, simple nude. And to finish off, I'm going to use MAC Charge Water and just take a shower. So that is the completed look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!